In what's considered unprecedented territory for the nation, Alaska's U.S. senators say there were 11 military vessels from China and Russia operating near the Aleutian Islands in the last couple of days. Four U.S. Navy warships are dispatched to the Aleutian Islands following the incursion. We spoke with Senator Dan Sullivan minutes after hearing about this. This is unprecedented, not just for Alaska, but for America to have uh, 11 warships jointly being operated by the Chinese and Russians who are increasingly working together, essentially doing freedom and navig or, uh, navigation operations, incursions into um, uh, Alaska's area. Senator Murkowski said in a press release, quote, we have been in close contact with leadership from Alaska Command for several days now and received detailed classified briefings about the foreign vessels that are transiting U.S. waters in the Aleutians. She continued saying, quote, this is a stark reminder of Alaska's proximity to both China and Russia, as well as the essential role our state plays in our national defense and territorial sovereignty. Incursions like this are why we are working so hard to secure funding and resources to expand our military's capacity and capabilities in Alaska, and why our colleagues must join us in supporting those investments, unquote. The exact time and location of the incursion was not made public as information about the event is being declassified. Although Senator Sullivan says Alaskans are not in danger, the presence of foreign military vessels nearby may be unsettling to residents. For Sullivan, it's a reminder that there is still work to do for Alaska.